Today, you get to watch me make eggs. I don't make just any eggs. I make seasoned eggs. I learned how to make them from my wife. And of course, we don't do anything just plain in the house. We like to uh, spice things up and get the flavors going. So today I'm gonna try new fried eggs to see if I can't, I can't flip them without breaking the yolks. Yeah, we'll see. Usually I break the yolks. But in order to season the eggs, we're gonna use some um, Montreal chicken seasoning. After all, what are eggs? Boneless, skinless chicken, right? So we're gonna use some Montreal uh, chicken seasoning. We're going to use some ground cumin. This was a uh, toasted cumin that we then ground it up. So we used the uh, bulk whole cumin seed and then we toast them on us in a skillet and then grind them up to make our own uh, own cumin. Uh, then I'm gonna use some Lowry season salt. And last, uh, just a little bit probably, just a little bit of the pink Himalayan sea salt. And of course, we have the eggs. So let's get into it. And oh, also, um, we use a uh, non-stick uh, non cooking spray, uh, canola oil cooking spray. So let's get into it and uh, let's make some eggs. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the burner on and I'm gonna keep it pretty low about three and a half. I know a lot of people like to have it on, on high and they like to get that sizzle on the eggs. I like to have my eggs cook a little, a little smoother and slower. I'll start off by spraying the cooking pan. Lately we've been getting a lot of double yokers I must be feeding those chickens something really good. Let's see if I get any of this time. I don't think I am. I think these are all just single yolks. Yep, all single yolks. Oh, it looks like one of my yolks, my egg yolks broke. That's a bummer. Let's say I don't have to worry about messing up that one when I flip it. A little bit of that seasoning there. Now I'm going to do the cumin. I love cumin. This is my favorite spice of all. I can put this on just about anything. And there's never too much cumin. Lowry season salt. And then just a tad bit of pink Himalayan sea salt. Don't want too much, you don't want to be too salty. We're not sailors here yet, so we don't need to be too salty. And now we do the patient waiting game of the eggs cooking. I'm going to try and do cooking over easy and we'll see how that turns out with flipping eggs. I already don't have to worry about one egg flipping because uh, the egg already, the yolk already broke. Looks like they're cooking up nicely. I'm going to probably increase the heat a little bit to four. And this is a, an inductive range so when I increase or decrease the heat it almost immediately increases to that amount. If you've ever ever used, if you've never used inductive range top, uh, it, they're amazing. They're a lot better. They're a lot more, a lot quicker than gas, and uh, a lot better than just a regular electric range. The only downside to an inductive range top like this is you have to have special pans that are uh, magnetic. So when you go shopping, you just take a, a little magnet with you and you touch them. Or they, sometimes they even say on the box, good for inductive range. But you can't use aluminum and you can't use um, some of the higher grade stainless steel. So 
So it looks like we're getting ready to flip the eggs. The trick is separating them into easily manageable bites. At least that's what I've been told. We'll see if I can do this. So I'm going to try and get underneath this guy. Or is it a girl? I can't tell yet. Chicken was never born. Yay, there's one down. Two down. See if I can't get the third. And the last one. Voila. Not pretty, but I got them flipped. Then, unfortunately, that's about it for frying eggs. So, since I'm doing it over easy, I'm not going to leave them over easy too long. So, matter of fact, I'll just take the heat off right now, and that'll leave the eggs uh, pretty much runny still. And they're done. So now I just have to plate them up, and the toast just popped, so I'm going to go have some eggs. Thanks for watching.